So we climbed the top of Ofu in order to look out over the reef. Then just over the reef crest, we saw a little red dot and a little white dot floating on the reef. And as we zoomed in, it was a raft. And it was a raft that was a robot fish killer. That raft has tendrils coming down from it, like a big Portuguese man of war. The tendrils are fish aggregators. Small fish live around those tendrils. And then larger fish are attracted in to the smaller fish. And then floating a little bit of front of it is another white float that has a sonar. The sonar looks back and when the sonar sees big fish, it beams a signal via satellite to the fishing boat, which comes trundling along and scoops up that pile of fish. And that fishing boat doesn't have one robot fish killer. That fishing boat might have 10, maybe it has 100. And they're floating around the Pacific, radioing back where the last fish in the Pacific are. Fishermen have always fished aggregations, but they were natural ones. You'd look out on the horizon and you'd see a whirling whirlpool of seabirds, and that would tell you there's a ball of bait fish right there, and under it are probably a lot of tuna and wahoo, and you'd take your boat out there and then you would troll through and catch some of them. But now we have these robots creating those aggregations, why? Because maybe there are not enough natural ones. Why? Because maybe the seabirds aren't as common. Why? Because we've depleted the ocean to such a point where we have to have this kind of technology in order to continue fishing. It means there are fewer fish in the ocean, and we're fishing them harder and harder, not less. It's another battle in the war on fish.